low spot uh -huh. at all. Go figure. So every time it rains, you think they will? No, they've already got the curbs in. Silly. And everything. So every time it rains, that's going to fill up with water. Yeah. And it's going to be over the curbs. Hmm. But, Patty, of course, there has to be a weed eater out. <laughs> Go figure. But anyhow, um, I forgot my gimbal, darn it. And I wanted to practice it. This is a beautiful magnolia tree. And it's blooming. So we're going to do this. Come up close. We have such beautiful blooms and they smell nice. And we have another bloom over here, which I don't know. Oh, here's one I can reach. Beautiful. Trying to do some panning. It looks a little choppy on my side. But also notice with the gimbal, it's also a bit choppy. It just might be this camera. We get some new flowers fixing to bloom. Let's see where that big pretty one go. It's right underneath me. Get the undersides of it. Okay, that's not working because I'm shooting into the sun. This is where my Panasonic camera works better. But this is just, sorry, this is just cell phone. There you go. Yeah, the gimbal would have kept it much smoother, that's for sure. This is just cell phone filming. So beautiful. I do it slow enough, I don't get the skippy. On the panning. This is using two hands and trying to keep, keep it as level as possible. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that neat? It's a wildflower. It's probably my favorite wildflower. It's called a passion flower. So beautiful. And there is a domestic variety of the passion flower also. But I didn't know this was here until yesterday. So this is really neat. So there's a little one hiding under there too. So taking a little bit of a break from the Twinkie. But I thought this was a really cool find yesterday. I don't see any more. Okay. I'm going to take a couple pictures of it. So pretty. I wonder um, what that little one on top does. If it opens up too or what, I don't know. It's pretty neat looking though.
I just discovered they're also scented also too, so that's cool. They were drawing butterflies and stuff. Unfortunately though, it's a bush. It's a shrub. The domestic variety is. So it, it's best if you plant them in the ground. And that's not best for an RVer. So I get to, but you know, appreciate nature. It's just beautiful.